Okay, izinkan saya berbahasa Inggeris untuk saya kongsikan bagaimanakah iaitu prestasi uh, uh, pasaran uh, US untuk kita lihat setakat jam pagi ini. US stocks closed lower on Thursday, snapping the longest winning streaks for the Nasdaq and S&P 500 in two years as Treasury yields climb after a disappointing auction of 30-year bonds of comments from Federal Reserve Chair Jerome Powell. Powell said central bank officials are not confident interest rates are high enough to tame inflation and may not get much more help from improvements in the supply of goods, services and labour. Stocks had moved slightly lower prior to Powell's comments as yields climb after a weak auction of $24 billion in 30-year treasuries with demand for the debt at 2.24 times the bonds on sale. The benchmark 10-year treasury note yield was last up 12.8 basis points at 4.636% after rising as high as 4.654% on the day. And the Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 220.33 points or 0.65% to 33,891.94%. The S&P 500 lost 35.43 points or 0.81% to 4,347.35 and the Nasdaq Composite lost 128.97 points or 0.94% to 13,521.45. And I'm going to uh, dive right in. How are, how are the performance we can see as S&P 500, which is categorized by sectors and industry. And you can see for all the size, uh, size within the S&P 500 represents the market cap. And I'm going to start with one of the largest uh, sector within the S&P 500 with uh, Microsoft as of this morning. You can see uh, the technology sector uh, in this market cap. We can see Microsoft, Microsoft is one of the largest uh, holder market cap within the technology sector. But as of this morning, it's down by negative 0.69%. And the latest update of Microsoft was Microsoft beating Wall Street estimates for fiscal first quarter results in all segments. With its cloud computing and PC businesses growing as customers anticipate using its artificial intelligence offerings. Its offerings who also was mostly ahead of analyst targets. And Microsoft, which has heavily backed and collaborated with OpenAI, has yet to roll out most of the product space on its work with the chat GBT creator but enthusiasm among corporate technology buyers for features like the ability to summarize heaps of email into a few bullet points or speedily complete lines of computer code help the company's revenue rise 13% to $56.5 billion in the quarter ended September 30th. The compares, that compares with analyst consensus estimate on $54.52 billion and this is according to LSEG data. And uh, next for Adobe we can see Adobe uh, is one of the brightest red we see. Uh, this is showing red color usually uh, equals to a loser's, uh, loser's performance. And as of this morning, Adobe is down negative 1.2. 9%. And the European Union antitrust regulators have resumed their investigation into Photoshop maker Adobe's, uh, which is a $20 billion bid for cloud-based designer platform Figma, setting at February 5th deadline for their decision. A European Commission filing show on Friday. The EU watchdog stopped the clock last month while waiting for requested information from the companies. It has said that the deal may eliminate an important rival to Adobe and allow it to restrict competition in global markets for the supply of interactive product design tools and Adobe will likely have uh, to provide uh, remedies uh, to address such concerns before it can secure regulatory approval for the deal. And next, Apple is also down as of this morning as much as uh, we can see from the S&P 500 is a negative 0.26% and Apple co-founder Steve Wozniak was hospitalized in Mexico City on Wednesday due to a possible stroke, Mexican media outlets reported, but at TMZ report citing sources suggested the illness was potentially a less serious bout of vertigo. The 73-year-old scientist and tech entrepreneur was scheduled to participate in a World Business Forum event in the Mexican capital Santa Fe neighborhood on Wednesday, after, in, on Wednesday afternoon. Event organizers did not immediately respond to a request for comment was that had been set to speak at the conference at 4.20 p.m. local time. Reuters could not immediately confirm the reports that was that has been hospitalized. U.S. Media outlet TMZ, citing sources with direct knowledge, reported that Wozniak finished his speech but then told his wife he was feeling strange. She reportedly insisted he go to the hospital. The, the, the TMZ report said Wozniak may have 
suffer vertigo. In the 1970s, Wozniak founded the fledging Apple computer company along with his more famous business partner Steve Jobs, the acclaimed investor and long-time Apple CEO who died in the 2011. And next, we will focus on the semiconductors uh, industry. Uh, semiconductors, we can see among all its peers uh, within the uh, within the SME uh, within the semiconductors uh, sectors, we can see Nvidia is up by 0.81 percent and we can see only nvidia is uh, with the green uh, green sea among others of its peer within the semiconductor uh, industry and nvidia plans to release new artificial intelligence chips aimed at the chinese market less than a month after u.s official tightened the rules on selling high-end ai chips to china the chip industry newsletter semi analysis said that that the nvidia chips are called the hgx h2o l2o pcie and l2 pcie and that NVIDIA could announce them on November 16 at the earliest. NVIDIA shares were up 3.3% in midday trading after the report. The chips include most of NVIDIA's newest feature for AI work but have had some of the computing power measures cut back to comply with new U.S. rules. According to the newsletter analysis of the chips specifications, NVIDIA declined to comment when asked about the report. The White House and the Commerce Department did not immediately respond to the request of comment. And for Qualcomm under the semiconductor is also this morning is up by up by 0.03 percent, uh, which is include also Samsung and Qualcomm are among those opposing India's choice of technology to bring live TV broadcasts on smartphones, arguing the required hardware changes will push up a device cost by 30 according to the latest review by Reuters. India is considering a policy to mandate equipping, equipping some smartphones with hardware to receive live TV signals without the need for cellular networks. It has proposed use of so-called ATSC 3.0 technology popular in North America that allow pre precise geoloc uh, geolocating of TV signals and provides high picture quality. Companies, however, say their existing smartphones in India are not equipped to work with ATSC 3.0 and any efforts to add that compatibility with raised cost of each device by $30 as more components need to be added. Some fear the existing manufacturing plans can be hurt. In a joint letter to India's communication, Ministry Samsung, Qualcomm and Telcom gear markers, uh, makers Ericsson and Nokia said adding direct to mobile uh, broadcasting can also uh, degrade uh, battery performance of devices and cellular reception. And next, we, move, we will move on into the, uh, into the internet content information uh, sector, which is uh, Google, one of the biggest uh, market, one of the biggest that has the market share within the S&P 500 under the internet content uh, sectors, with uh, Google, uh, Alphabet's Google, Meta platforms, and TikTok, and Thursday won backing from Europe top court in their fight against an Australian law requiring them to delete hate speech for fine uh, for face fines of up to 10.69 million dollar. The Australian law enacted in 2021 and which obliques big tech to publish regular reports of illegal content comes amid mounting concerns worldwide about hateful posts. The European Union's recently adopted new rules called the Digital Services Act, DSA, which require large online platforms to do more to tackle illegal and harmful online content or risk fines up to 6% of their annual turnover. Google, Meta and TikTok challenged the Australia in on in an Australian court, saying that it is contrary to an EU rule which says online service providers are only subject to the rules of the country where they are established, while countries where they are provide a service must refrain from the applying their laws. The three companies which have their European headquarters in Ireland say they should only be subject to Irish rule. The Australian court subsequently sought advice from the Court of Justice of the European Union, CJEU, which sided with the companies. And for Amazon, also is down by negative of 1.04 percent, uh, has begun cutting jobs in its music division, the company said on Wednesday, uh, confirming the latest of several rounds of layoffs over the past year that have affected more than 27,000 employees of the retail giant. And employees in uh, Latin America, North America and Europe received notices that their job had been eliminated on uh, Wednesday. According to people familiar with the matter, an Amazon spokesperson confirmed the layoff after being contacted by Reuters. She declined to say how many employees were impacted. No mass layoff filings had recently been made in Washington State where Amazon is based in California or New York among the largest employee centers for the company according uh, to review of worker adjustment and retraining notification sites. And as Tesla is also um, uh, 
down this morning by a very uh, negative 5.46%. This is the uh, raised prices on its refresh Model 3 and Model Y long. Uh, Y long range vehicles in China starting November 9th. The electric vehicle maker will increase the price of its Model 3 version in China by 1,500 yuan, uh, which equals to $206. Uh, show its website and official Weibo account. Tesla sales repre representatives in China have been posting on social media in the past week about potential prices increase of the Model Y, urging uh, consumers to place order ahead of the increase. And that is the update uh, under the S&P 500 as of this morning.